Happy Wednesday, Facebook Church. Is it Wednesday? Yeah, it is. <laughs> and it's April 19th, and it is 78 degrees outside, 11.39 in the morning. And we have a friend visiting with us downstairs. She's uh, meeting our, our little bird, Moses, and uh, brought her two puppies over. So we're going to have a little visit in a little bit. But first, I'd like to do our devotional, Faith Food Devotions with Kenneth E. Hagen. And you can find your own devotional on Amazon for about $20 if you'd like to get it. And this afternoon at 4 o'clock Hawaii time, 7 o'clock Pacific time, Pastor Esther from Amazing Love Church is going to be sharing on our What We Believe Bible Study Zoom. So if you would like to join us, simply send Keith an email and put add me in the subject box. And his email is his initial and last name, K-W-I-N-T-E-R-O-W-D at gmail.com. Just one R. So I hope you join us today for our Bible study Zoom. So we'll go on to do our devotional. It's called Taking Your Place, and the scripture verse is Colossians 3, 1 and 2. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. And Kenneth Hagin goes on to say, the elevation of the believer to be seated with Christ at the right hand of the Father took place potentially at the resurrection, Ephesians 2, 5, and 6. Meditate on this passage until it becomes real to you. Remember, every heavenly blessing is yours, Ephesians 1, 3. But you have to take your place there to enjoy them. The believer whose eyes have been opened to his throne rights in Christ may, one, accept his seat, two, begin to exercise the spiritual authority that seating confers on him. The devil bitterly resents our entrance into, the, into his domain. He has been used to exercise, he's been used to exercising authority and ruling over someone's life. So he will concentrate his forces against us when we come into these mighty truths. And no truth encounters such opposition as the truth of the authority of the believer. The only place of safety is to be seated with Christ in heavenly places far above all principality, power, might, and dominion. If the believer abides steadfastly by faith in this place, he cannot be touched by the enemy. So take your seat in heavenly places and keep it. So I have a confession for us to say today. I'll say it once and then I'll say it again so you can repeat it out loud with me if you wish. I set my affection on heavenly facts. I set my affection on heavenly facts. I keep myself mindful. I keep myself mindful that I am seated with Christ, that I am seated with Christ in heavenly places, in heavenly places, far above the enemy, far above the enemy. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So we continue to meditate on God's word, pray in tongues over it, ask for more and more revelation to his word, his truth, his ways, his divine nature, his character, his love, his truth, his power, his authority. And we're partakers of God's divine nature. And he says, all that is his is ours. And we're seated with Christ at the right hand of God in the heavens. It just doesn't get better than that. God bless you. Have a beautiful Wednesday. Hope to see you on Zoom. Love and aloha. Mwah.